Hello everybody, in today's video I'm in Stanley, North Dakota at the Prairie Trader Coin Shop. We're going to go inside and interview the owner, Skip. Here we are. Hello, Skip. Hi, Josh. <laughs> How are you doing today? I'm good. How good. Are you? Good. Thanks for agreeing to be in this video today. Uh, as you can see, we're in Skip's Coin Shop in Stanley, North Dakota. It's called the Prairie Trader. He's busy getting ready to travel to a show. So we got a lot of things that are setting out that we can look at today. I like these treasure chests. I was looking at these when you were... Those are made by a gentleman right here in Stanley. Okay, that's amazing. So people buy them and fill them up with goodies? Yep. Just have a treasure chest. Yeah, they actually they look really nice. He does a really good job with that. So, but yeah, if uh, you don't mind, I'd just like to ask you a few questions about how things have been going lately in the coin shop. I know uh, talking with other dealers, yourself included, on the phone, things have been busy. Could you talk a few minutes about that? Sure. It, it has been busy. The, everybody's looking to do something else with their with their money, uh, just to have a little bit of gold and silver on hand. So bullion has been selling well. Uh, both of them, both gold and, and silver, also 90% uh, coinage has been selling. And uh, co collectible coins also sell to a certain extent, uh, they stay fairly steady, uh, but there's interest in some of that. So. Okay. What type of collectible coins do you tend to move the most of? Is it mostly silver dollars or silver Lincoln dollars cents? Silver dollars always good, but Lincoln pennies are, are something that's really interesting. It seems to be the universal collection thing is the Lincoln coin set. So You probably agree, but I know most estates that I buy or collections I buy, there's always Lincoln cents. Usually, Always. usually partially, <laughs> partially completed folders missing all the good ones. Is that your experience too? Pretty much. That's about ninety nine point nine percent true. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. 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 I think, like you said, it's kind of the universal thing that everyone collects. So, uh, what types of things are you bringing to the Bismarck show? Oh gosh. Well, I have a pickup, so we really load up. Okay. So, well, good. Uh, we, of course, we're bringing some bullion. We're bringing uh, uh, proof sets. Usually, sell for us birth year sets down there. Um, a lot of collectible coins, token North Dakota tokens. We've got quite a few of those. Um, some new things we've picked up. Uh, we're hoping to buy some gold pieces down there that we'll have for sale. Uh, somebody's going to meet us down there. Hopefully, we'll have some gold, old time gold to sell. Okay, good. Uh, which would be really good. That those are a little harder to come by these days. They can so, be, for yeah, sure. So I'm sure all dealers are active buyers these days or whatever comes in the door. <laughs> we have to be, just yeah. so we have inventory, right? Exactly, exactly. So uh, what, are your, what are your customers saying? Are you getting people in here that are scared about the current financial situation with banks and inflation and obviously all of the things going on in government right now? Do you, do you get people talking to you about that very much? Pretty much everybody is concerned about that. You know, I don't know if scared is the right word, but they're concerned. So they're... There's a lot of people when we're getting new people coming in and, you know, putting a little bit of their assets into the precious metals. Uh, some people putting more than others, you know, but a lot of different folks saying, you know, I should have a little gold. I should have a little silver. And I, hard to disagree with them. Right. Are you seeing a lot of new customers buying bullion? I mean, people buying bullion for the first time. Is that something you're seeing? That's been going on for a couple of years. Okay. Yeah. Are you seeing an uptick at all, or has it just been pretty consistent? You get uh, new people in the door buying. Just consistent. I think. Okay. Yeah, I don't see a real uptick in it necessarily. Okay. Um, well, yeah, it's kind of interesting to watch all of this. So, fun time to have a coin shop. It is. It. I. You know. I've. I. I use the phrase all the time to steal from. Uh, Rick Harrison from the TV show Pawn Stars. You never know what's going to come in that door. No, that's just, right. There's, you know, some days it's, you're, I'm just blown away by the good stuff that comes in. Other days it's, well, this is low value filler, but I'll still buy it because that's, yeah. you do need that type of stuff having a coin shop. So, yeah. but uh, yeah, I'm just going to pan around and show some different things. You got a lot of neat, cool things in your displays here. I like that you have Dansko albums. Those are hard to find nowadays. Got uh, some vintage 
or I guess that's probably not vintage, but uh, no, vintage appearing. Vintage appearing. It is a it sign is a reproduction, but representing uh, the I city of Stanley, this North Dakota. Thing about ten times already. Is that right? A lot of people asking about it, yeah. huh? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't make my sign to myself. Yeah, that's that's really nice. I got that in the shot several times, so <laughs> it looks looks really good. Yeah. But uh, yeah, what I mean, do you want to just give the the viewers a quick overview of uh, where you're located and how they can get a hold of you? Sure. Well, we're in Main Street, Stanley, North Dakota. Uh, we're right next to Joyce's Cafe. Uh, we are in the in an old bank building right on the corner that's got the only time and temperature sign in town on Main Street. So I tell you, if you can't find that, you're not a Boy Scout. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's great. Skip, do you have a little... Uh one of your tokens that has your business info on it. I can show the oh, show the viewers. So here one you can do one's cool. One side, there's the two sides. Yeah, Skip really does a cool thing here. He has these wooden nickels made, and these are a bit his business cards. So you see, one side says Prairie Trader, and uh, here's what they do, and here's how to get a hold of them. But uh, yeah, well, Skip, I appreciate the few minutes you gave me this morning, and I know you're busy getting ready to head to a show, so I won't hold you up. But uh, if anybody needs to get in contact with Skip you at can. Prairie Trader. There's his contact info there. Feel free to look him up. I've known him for many years. He's a straight shooter. He's a great guy, and he'll always treat you fairly. It's always a pleasure huh. to be here. What we, what's that going to cost me? <laughs> we'll discuss after I quit filming. No, I'm just kidding. Idea. He's a great guy, folks. But, Skip, thank you so much for your time. Thanks, Josh. Great. Have a good one. Bye.